Hey everybody, welcome back. We have fun here. You know what? This this squad, I think this squad is is actually I know that we talk sometimes about like a from right to left. Cave snail, bulldog, silk moth as the platonic ideal. Be a flopping robot. Um, but I actually think this squad goes kind of hard. You get two damage, then you get two damage with two damage, then you get two damage, and then you summon a one-one dog. Like I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna beat every squad that you come up against. Like for example, uh, this squad of of three two threes, which is just honestly a beautiful first shop. I can't really be mad at you. I would take it too. But I think it's got a certain, what the French call a certain, I don't know what. Yeah, yeah, I would run this. I would run this team. There's 12 damage with a 3-4 at the back. We got 8 damage, and then we got 2 damage, 2 damage. That's 12 damage. Don't question my mathematics, okay? Unfortunately, the their squad is cracked. <laughs> And fortunately, we still got a draw, okay. Holy cow, that magpie went off. Ten times the magpie understood the assignment. We get back to full health, that's the important part. I want to win some rounds. Can I tell you? I want to win some rounds. Why don't you do this? And I'm not changing anything else yet. I'm, I want to win some rounds. I think this is a market improvement for the squad. Did I buff some temporary units? Yes. You know what? That's something I've never done before. So I, I would say, wait, I'm mixing it up, brother. Is that, is that a problem with you? Is that a problem for you, I should say, I guess? Beautiful, beautiful. And we draw these. Okay, okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Get some levels. There's, there's a level. And there's a level. And you know what? I kind of liked what I saw from the enemy flycatcher build last time. I'm willing to give it a chance. I, I, I recognize that this means that our build depends on our en enemy's build. But you know what? A lot of summons come out here at some point. Not on this team, of course, because that would be too convenient for me. But <laughs> don't hit the... No, not that guy, because he's making trumpets, you fool. Okay, okay, hold on. Redeemed. Very redeemed! <laughs> We've never seen a flycatcher pop off on the left side of the board, so I'm, I'm willing to give him a chance here. It's not a yak team. You know what? This is, it's interesting enough for me to consider giving it a try. Big penguin for the big buffs. And you know what? Guess what, penguin? You get an egg as well, brother. We're, we're, we don't have a... Truly stellar team, adding two extra damage here and there, you never know. Now, this is a big yak. They got a doorhead ant as well. Can't be mad. That's uh, It's the same style I try to run my own team with. I'm going to tell you though, like uh, straight out of the gate, I don't think our Tamarin is getting the job done right here. We're closer than it looks there. Our, our Tamarin is no longer doing what it needs to do. Do I really need you to get to level three? I don't think I do. I just think it's not relevant. And I think it's a little early for an eggplant. So we're looking for tier threes, which we have one. You know what we can do. If we don't think our Tamarin's getting the job done, sell it, buy a baboon, which will right now buff a royal flycatcher. Take some lettuce so they both get a buff. I can't recall if I have ever had a, a baboon team actually accomplish anything, but certainly that was a nice round from a statistical standpoint. And having sold our Tamarin, we now don't feel bad about selling our Groundhog. Well, you set it up wrong, Miffed Seeds! I just, I'm sorry to say this, I just hate to see a, a gorilla build, you know, going down for with no good reason. Although, you're still gonna do quite a lot of damage. To, never mind, your team's still pretty good. Okay, fair enough. I, I deserve that. <clears throat> I think we would love to focus on stats. Get rid of me. Get rid of me. Even though you're not buffing anything, and that, that is unfortunate. 
but you're giving quite a nice buff. And then sell me, and you're going to possibly get a buff out of the bonobo here. But then we're dedicated to rolling four squatted. Is this what we want to do? <laughs> or do we want to... Wait, this is a crazy team for lettuce. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not bad. It's not crazy. We buff a sea lion and a manta ray. Let me tell you another thing. I'm not sure I'm thrilled about um, our, about our strongest unit essentially by necessity being at the back. And would it kill you? To, like, I, I, listen, I'm I'm sure I'm preaching to the converted on this one, or I'm complaining idly about something that that can't be helped. But it would be nice if, when you take like a royal flycatcher, if at some point you saw a squad that summoned anything besides like a dog that they summoned by accident. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to take an empty space here. I'm not worried about the two gold. Give me the one, two stats instead. And you can take the buff via this. How does that sound? You guys are all taking health. That seems reasonable to me. The flycatcher takes attack just by virtue of it being at the back. Okay, the walrus taking all the buffs there was not the way I drew that up. I think we are going down. And sugar, we are like barely going down swinging. <laughs> it's a disaster. We have one trophy to our name. Get this out of here. Okay, in this case, four squad me, buy me, sell me. Manta me, blue ring me. The problem is the baboons have no reason to exist anymore. Buy me, sell me. It's not buffing anything. Freeze me. But man, oh man, if it were buffing something, <laughs> imagine how good that would be. So my hope now for this run, and I think we're probably going to lose right here, but my hope is that we luck into not losing, it could be a draw, buy a bird of paradise and somehow basically just luck our way into greatness. And if I'm being honest with you, it appears at least like right now that that is going to pass, if only temporarily. Probably because we're playing against teams that are also on lethal. So no matter what, we're going to be buying a bird of paradise first. Then we are going to be selling our baboon. We are going to be... I, I think it's most important to possibly get your bird of paradise leveled faster. It's, it's the engine that gets us out of the goop here. And then a little of this. We got a nice squad buff there. And I, we're not going to spend six more gold unless I'm just trying to think if I buy that would spend three gold that would put us on four. We sell that would put us on four gold. We roll and then we buy the royal flycatcher, I guess. I guess in that case, we could roll once first just to see what we get. And it doesn't matter what you buy, sell. Basically, by spending that three gold, we got a one one buff on everybody because it was the actions we were going to take to begin with, regardless. Okay. Well, the squad looks a lot better, but we got to keep it moving. Like, it's got to go fast. That's not that scary. Although the coconut armor kind of backfired on us there. I'm not that scared yet. And in fact, I'm actually feeling, although this is going to be a nasty shot, I'm feeling like when you summon a bunch of units, we're going to be thrilled. And the HP that we get out of that is crazy. Okay, so there's a, there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Chocolate. No chocolate and no buy cells. No chocolate, no buy cells. Like a clam is like, it's the perfect thing to see here, quite frankly. You get to spend three gold at essentially no cost. Manta, also great. We'd like to roll. We'd like to see some buy cells. You're on two. If I buy, that takes me to five. Okay, so we can do the same thing we did last time. 
We can like buy, takes us to six, sell, buy a sea lion, which I've been calling a walrus, ad infinitum, sure. And then we still get the little buff from the wall. We need this bird of paradise to hit level two to have a realistic shot because we've just basically lucked into playing against some bad teams. This team does not look bad. This team looks very good. And yet we draw. We, li we live with that, okay? We're still in it. We're still in this. If we get a seven wins in a row, it's going to be round 19. So just keep that in mind when it comes to, you know, the, the difficulty level of the squads that we're going to be going up against. What if you just popped this down for now? And you saw if maybe you could get two birds of paradise working. I know it seems crazy. Are you going to pop? I think I have to do it like this. Because then I have to do a buy. Oh, wait, we're on eight gold? We could just do two buys. And then that'll be a 2-2 two -two on everybody. We should have done this with the other bird of paradise out there. Minor mistake, but, but a mistake nonetheless. Definitely chocolate on the Bird of Paradise hits here. I know it looks like maybe we should put it on the sea line. I'm telling you, the Bird of Paradise is it's, it's the buffet. Put something good in the buffet, they'll love you forever. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> it doesn't, it's inherently meaningless. Hold on, they're summoning a 28-28 dog. That's god-awful. I can do nothing to stay alive. Okay, fair, honestly fair. We didn't leave ourselves with much margin for error, okay? I thought, I was starting to believe, but if we were gonna believe, we should have believed earlier, probably. Okay, so let's basically just run a stat squad early. This'll work, this is fine. Um, I'll be a, um, a clean beaver. We love them up in Canada. Especially when we need some wood eight. This is unfortunate. Is it unfortunate? It's not fortunate. Maybe it's not that unfortunate. We'll give that a, a draw. I'm happy with that. That means no matter what, we're gonna be on five life. You guys remember Five Alive? Does that still exist? It was like, um, canned orange juice, I guess is the best. I know that there's probably Five Alive purists out there who are like, it's not orange juice, okay? It was a tropical citrus fruit blend, but like, for all intents and purposes, it was a canned orange juice. It always hit a little, it always made my throat feel a little weird. It was like they invented it as like a medicine, but then, they were like, oh, people like the taste? Okay, start selling it as, like, a consumer good. You know what? I think we should try Meerkat. Obviously, turn one, it's gonna do nothing. I don't think the Magpie is the play, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but, like, I think we need real econ. Like, a, we, we can wait for a Weasel to show up, even if it is Wesselton. And we learned, we learned that with the, uh, the meerkat, it's worth the investment to, to try to get it to pop. But you need to do buy sells in order to make it make sense. So I don't even think we're making it work this turn. Cause like a sell, actually we, we could, but what would we rather have? No, we would rather have permanent health. We could do a sell a buy, a sell, and a buy. Now this is, I wouldn't necessarily describe this as super sensible, but we gave up a one, two unit that gives two temporary health for two permanent health on the unit that we wanted to have the temporary health to begin with. So like, I don't think it's a, a huge loss, but that being said, we're about to lose bigly. No, we're about to lose smallly. <laughs> but that was close. For a four squad, I'm okay with that. Now give me things that, that benefit a buy sell. You're part of an econ build, but not the right part. And you're a, you're a trumpet build. And you're generating some trumpets too. So I do think there's something to this. And then this. And I know this is not making the meerkat pop, but... Certainly seems like 
You're on seven. Sell, get to five. Buy, get to ten. Okay. Sell. Buy. Sell. Second meerkat. Well, that's just you know, offensive to me. But okay. I do feel like the is sort of falling apart. <laughs> My squad! My squad! It's got no shot. The bulldog's gonna blow us away here. The number of times we go up against enemies that, like, I just need them to not hit, kill me in one shot, and they have exactly the right amount to kill me in one shot, it'll drive you crazy, man. Okay, so this turn, forget everything you thought you knew about these units, okay? We buy, and we buy, and this is the turn. We buy, and we buy. Oh, you don't take a buff? Even though you're also a tier 3? Okay, make it make sense. Either way, this will give us enough gold that if we just spend the zero, we'll get two buffs out of the meerkats every turn. Maybe that's not enough to be like, you know, losing our minds. But especially when you combine it with some wins, I'm not feeling too bad about it. And the weasel will level up at some point, presumably. And the meerkat can level up. It can level up right now, presumably. Do we do it right now? Yeah, why not? You still get two gold either way. And a clam is just like exactly what you want to see. And we don't even have to sell it right now. We don't have to keep it for the record, but we don't have to sell it. Because like if we sell you, we get some cherries. Would we rather get two eggplants out of it. Do we care? We probably don't even care. Beluga doesn't really seem like the, the what we're looking for. Avocado seems like exactly what we're looking for. Okay, and now we're buffing a clam, and I understand why we wouldn't want to keep it around. But On turn 7, an 11-13, it, it doesn't seem to me like that's the, that's the franchise tenant you want if you're like... That's like when you go to a mall, and you see that like the number one tenant in the mall is like a pharmacy. You know that that mall is probably not long for this world, okay? And I'm, I'm talking about you, Kingsgate Mall. And also, to a very similar extent, the, uh, the Tinseltown Mall, also known as... What do they even call it? International Village? Something like that. <laughs> Regardless, okay? If you see a Walmart, you know, if you see a Hudson's Bay company, I don't know what it's like in the U.S., but you know you're, you're sort of in the clear. You find yourself staring down a, a BC liquor store in a pharma safe. You know you're, you know the mall's probably not long for this world. Which is also fun. Who cares if the mall's long for this world? Now I, the thing is, I could sell you, but when I sell you, I'm going to lose all your stats. So a manta makes perfect sense to work with the meerkats, but I don't think we can afford to lose the uh, the value of the eleven thirteen right now. Sell me, please. I gotta level with you as well. The meerkat buffs are just not enough. <laughs> so I think we add another one for now. What do you guys, you're all at four except one of you's at three. So we'll, we'll do the level up next turn. Obviously the lettuce is not all that and a bag of chips right now. It's literally worthless. So we're, we're essentially just rolling for no reason. Avocado is very important though. Either way, we're going to be at 12 gold, which means we're going to get like a 2-4 buff. It's a weird looking team. So this is, they're basically just making, they're trying to make a big dog and also have a macaw. Okay. I understand. I want a toilet made of solid gold, but sometimes that's just not in the cards, baby. We're actually going to take out a win, despite how cursed our last turn was. And if anything, we're looking at upside here, which is surprising to me. So we're going to level. Good one. We're going to purchase an avocado. Now we could use a manta. Not really a slug. Spend all trumpets. Spend two trumpets to deal four damage to a random enemy. I'm going to have to snooze you on that one. I will place you down for the time being. And they want me to spend three more gold. Honestly, I don't think this is going to make a difference. But, you know, we're spending three gold regardless, okay? 
we we really want to see like a bird of paradise. A, a bird of paradise would would pop. If you'll forgive my language, it would pop the f off right now. We can't win this. Uh, the, their squad is just. But you can just look at the numbers. They've got better stats and actual synergies. So we we have to win these rounds in the shop. We can't just pop out here and be like, you know, we're gonna win it at runtime. We gotta win it uh, when it's compiled. And we don't have the buy spell space, buy sell space here. But we're going to make the space. <laughs> so we'll put you here for now. We'll buy you. Sell you. And we'll do it again. Oh, and this is great timing because here's our roll. Couldn't have drawn it up better myself. That's a beautiful purchase. I'm going to leave you around for a second just in case we encounter a waffle. We did not, so I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy you to enable a penguin. Okay, and then sell you. We don't have to buy sell you. We can just roll and find, like, one good animal. We could buy sell you, though. Don't, don't, don't. I'm going to become the Joker. <laughs> We're not going to make a level 2 penguin. What we're going to do is make a level 3 meerkat. And honestly, like, I'm not saying we got this one in the bag. Because it, it's, it's quite the opposite. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that this one is going to be, like, tight all the way through. Which is nice. It's not like we're steamrolling anybody. But that could all change also if we just get a bird of paradise, like, ASAP. <laughs> So I almost feel like we should buy this, but then not use the tier, not combine you to tier three until we get the value of two uh, buffs coming out of you. Because you probably, the tier three probably only gives 1.5 extra buffs, if I had to guess. But then we're probably going to run four squatted as a result. Worth thinking about. But we can always just combine you next turn, and that would that would be completely fine. I'll just level with you. I don't want to buy something and just temporarily and have that something receive the buffs. So I instead I just decided to put a pita on our meerkat. Then we'll combine them next turn, and we then can start building a, like a bird of paradise or a manta if one of them mercifully chooses to show up around them. As was the style at the time. Okay, so I see you, you got a big yak build going here. I understand what you're doing with your big yak build. It's honestly, this is a bit of a killer squad. I don't think we can punch through that yak, quite frankly. No, we can't. I'll, I'll just tell you that straight. It's a very strongly designed team. And we're going to be on lethal. But we're on lethal with, with, I honestly think, a bit of a chance. Not like a, a lock, but a bit of a chance. So, combine me? We probably should not have a squirrel any longer. <laughs> Roll me. Buy me? Roll me. Roll me. Sell me. Buy me. So true. Roll me. We don't see any great animals available, so guess what? You just earned yourself a banana. And uh, a buff for our Manta is not who I would have chosen to receive the buff, but I don't get a choice in that matter, so... Now, what is this team? This team is based around a bear. Okay, I understand. We're going to win this round. And our meerkat actually got to feel like it helped out. That's nice. Huge. If we, it, it's it's forward thinking, which is scary, but still very nice. Sell me. Come on, you know you want to give me the bird of paradise, man. Obviously, you're gonna buy me. Wait, you, oh, you're gonna pop off. Okay, then in that case, let me give you one of these. But no bird of paradise, even still. A bird of paradise. <laughs> okay, I would now sell our squirrel. And not worry about the food it's generating in order to finance this. We got to do this in the right order. So don't, don't get your hopes up yet because we still got to make it. Please let me get past that pita. Thank you. Thank you.
We're riding on the razor's edge, man. We don't have to do it in the right order. We can buy, sell. It sucks to lose a 1720, don't get me wrong. Give one pet the cherry perk. Well, listen, like... I don't think it's gonna count as a... Uh, as buying something but there's no reason not to give you the cherry at least like it doesn't we're not going to use a cherry for free over a banana or a pita but an avocado is very nice we have 16 gold at present nice little buff there pretzel is a 2-2 buff for one unit i honestly i think we can do better even if it is just at this point every time we see like one roll we buy sell Another bird of paradise. You're close to paying out. I think we still have to do it like this. Unfortunately. And it, and it is unfortunate. Still a nice buff. Still a nice buff. Still a nice buff. Okay. Listen, like I said, I don't know if we're getting there, but... Oh, I got even got one gold remaining. Ooh! <laughs> I don't know if we're getting there, but we've we've done we we got to the point where we could possibly get there, which is going to make the loss that much more devastating. Look at this squad, dude. We're done. I mean, it's I, I'm it's hard to be upset about an eight run, and yet here I am. <laughs> Level three bird of paradise. It's just tough to tough to match it. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.